ready. Hey, hey, guys. Um, I'm on my way down to Detroit. I'm driving now. Should be there in about a half an hour. As I stated in my other post, I was coming down here to get my child, and I wasn't leaving without him. Now, as I'm driving on the road, I'm praying, asking for protection and guidance. And um, I get a phone call from the case manager. And she's calling me to just tell me that they expect for, or that the, their plan for my son is that he goes through this new program that's a year long and at that point then they will release him. Now this is the same woman who once the referee told my son's lawyer that she was willing to terminate court's jurisdiction. Not just transfer the case, not move my son, but she's willing to completely terminate court's jurisdiction. And this lady the case manager, when I'm on the phone with her, discussing it with her, she's telling me, okay, make sure you have everything with you, whomever it is that you um, are going to have him going to see all of his treatments, we need letters. You know, she's telling me to get ready for this. And now today, when I asked her, well, what, what changed? What happened? Because I was on the phone with you, you were giving me advice on what I needed to bring to court with me. And now you, today you say, oh yeah, that's the plan for him to complete this new program as if we never had a discussion. So this is the BS that I deal with. This is wrong. They cannot take someone's child and just do whatever they want to do with them. Now, if you allow them to, they can. But if no one speaks out against this, this will continue to happen. I have my three younger children in this car. And I'm praying for guidance and protection because I do not want to go to jail. But will I comply and abide by this mess? Absolutely not. Because that's my son. And he they've already had him for a year and a half. Not only have they had him for a year and a half, the CMO who's refusing to sign off on his de-escalation does not want to hear of anything, any complaints that I have about his treatment. Now they're concerned about his treatment because, oh, the referee's going to let him go. Oh, no, we, we still need that money. So, no, we're not going to de-escalate him. And this mother, she's smart, so she could have a lawsuit, so we need to make sure that all of our paperwork is fine. Because it why else will they not sign off on de-escalation? You know, they won't hear about the complaints I have. I have not gotten in front of the referee to explain to the refer to, to explain to the referee what's going on. She's heard things from the CMO, but she has not heard anything from me. She has not heard anything from me, and I don't understand how that's possible. How is it possible? And I know that she knows that I was claiming abuse because I spoke to her court clerk. And the court clerk spoke to her for me. So I know she knows. Now how is it possible that you have a child, a minor, in treatment and you are claiming abuse and the referee does not give you an emergency court date to, to, to see what's going on? So it's okay for you to abuse my child? It's okay for my child to be abused? That's not okay. That's not all right with me. So I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on right now that the plan is definitely in motion. Oh, I forgot. I um, Yesterday I was um, praying and meditating and I... Uh, received a phone call from a good friend of mine and um, so he was discussing my son's case with me so now I have not only his support but also his, his uh, resources and their support so 
actually I'm headed to pick him up now and um, we headed downtown as I stated if they don't give my child back to me the whole city is gonna know what's going on someone is going to call and tell whomever the proper person is to release my son someone is going to do that and I don't know who that person is but we're gonna find them all right y'all let me go I gotta pay attention to this bro I just wanted to give you guys an update real quick thanks for watching for everybody who's watching the updates please subscribe like share please share it's very important that we continue to share this story absolutely needs to get out I'll give you guys another update um, once I get home or once I get to my friend's